The winter stop, we've got a, a really, really nice example. Uh, I know I'll probably always say that, but the car's done 81,000 miles and it's like new inside and out. You wouldn't think the, the interior had been sat on it. It's, it's just beautiful. It's uh, finished in Alpine white with Oyster Dakota leather. It's a BMW 5 Series 2 litre 520D SE four door. It's 2012 on a 12 plate, has pro nav. Um, fuel economy, urban 49.6, extra urban 68.9, combined is 60.1, north 60 time of 8.1 seconds and a top speed of 140 miles per hour out of a 184 brake horsepower 16 valve engine. Six months road tax, 66 pounds and 12 months is 120. Um, on our website, it's uh, the, the finance example given is deposit 949.50 uh, and 60 payments of 187 pounds 18. If you go on our website, you can change the deposit and also the, the length of the agreement to suit your budget. Um, I'll just show you around it. Xenon headlamps, the uh, chrome kidney grille, it has multi-spoke alloys, good tyres all round, tinted glass, the brushed aluminium window surrounds, rear privacy glass. Remote boot release, really nice big boot. It has the reversing sensors in the rear bumper, but you've also got just there the lens for the reversing camera so it's a, a nice clear screen if you uh, if you reverse into anything you need shooting plenty of room in the back again the seats don't look like they've been sat on in the back here the carpet's actually it's absolutely mint there's there's even stripes in it as if it's been mowed um rear center armrest We've got there a little container and also there two cup holders. We've got the Isofix child seat fastening points as well. Uh, rear seat belts again in the uh, oyster colour. It's, it's just lovely. It's the same colour um, headlining. It's, uh, it's, it's, the car's beautiful. You, you just can't believe it's done 80,000 miles. It, it's a credit to the previous owner. We'll just take you for a drive in it. Hopefully you just saw that uh, MGB GT. Uh, as I say, beautiful car. This there's slight wear on the driver's uh, seat, but the passenger seat doesn't look like it's uh, been sat in at all. Now, when we buy cars, the, the, the cars that we go out and buy, as you would expect, uh, they're the best available. When you take cars in part exchange against the cars that we've bought, you can't always control what you're getting in. Um, but this, we would have gone out and bought it. It's, it is absolutely beautiful. Lovely black gloss trim and this kind of aluminium inset underneath. It's, it's really, it's, it's, not, it's so nice. I'll tell you about it as we're going along. Um, we're chasing the service history up now I rang a BMW dealer this morning um, there's a couple of stamps in the book we're trying to chase up more there's another stamp from a BMW specialist the BMW specialist hadn't put the dated service it in we got that uh, I rang the BMW dealer twice they were all busy and then when I finally got through the service receptionist said she had a list of people to get back to regarding service histories. Now, a list, so she couldn't get round to do it till this afternoon. A digital service history, such a stupid idea. You can't beat a service book, but <laughs> you've got, the service receptionists have got to stamp them. <laughs> That's where the system falls down. So we'll chase the service history up. One more thing before we set off. Um, when uh, round here we're getting a lot of cars stolen um, especially off the forecourt um, or, or garage forecourts around our area 
on the local housing estates and all the ones that have been pinched are keyless ignition and keyless entry. Now this one's just keyless ignition, but I will show you, got this, these bags from Amazon, get two of them for eight pounds and they're Faraday pouches. So signals can't get through. So I'll just show you, here's the, here's the key. Car starts, keyless go. Put the key in the bag, fasten it. And the car won't start. So in, in the old days, people used to put the keys on, the, on the, the sideboard or the telephone table that everybody used to have in the hall. And thieves used to go with a fishing rod and uh, hook them, take them out, nick your keys and drive them. Now they don't need to, they just need to have a signal stack, snatcher, stand outside your house, relay the signal to the car and they're away. So for the sake of eight quid for, for two of these, um, I would recommend you get them. I can't stand car thieves. I'd shoot the lot of them. So please do that, put them out of business. Right, I'm gonna take you for a ride. Um, I'll also put a link in our description. We are an Amazon affiliate along with uh, a few other affiliates these days. We're also with Compare the Market and uh, Car Finance 24 seven. If you're not buying a car off us, if you click the link, you can arrange finance yourself to buy a car from a, a reputable dealer, but you can get um, car insurance, van insurance, bike insurance, holiday insurance, and all sorts of quotes from our website. And you'll be doing us a big favor if you do. So back to the car, five series, not a whole lot to say about them. They're really, really nice to drive could do with getting a bit further away but that's it it's got electric memory seats two position electric memory seats and i think yep this one's got the electric memory steering wheel as well so uh that's that's a really good addition we've got let me just stop nothing behind us just put it in reverse there you go, you've got front and rear parking sensors and also a reversing camera. Sat nav, Bluetooth hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming. We have a front central armrest here. There you go, and there's a, the locking wheel nut. If you hear anything rattling, it's not the car. And it's also got USB and AUX in socket there. If you haven't got a Bluetooth and you've got an old iPod or something, oops, it should be indicating there, my fault. Really lovely to drive, very, very economical. Put the steering wheel down there so we can see the controls. If you move the gear lever across or gear selector across you can also change up and down just by pulling it and pushing it like so Put that back across there and here we've got sport comfort and eco pro lights up there tells you all about the eco pro and you can see what charge you're putting into the battery and it also tells you which is quite good because it, it keeps you on your best behavior driving there's a blue figure there and it tells you how many miles to the gallon you've gained by driving sensibly or economically and um, it does get to you have kind of a competition with yourself when you're going to work the same route same journey and seeing how many miles you can save the car is very uh, frugal to start off with um, really really well equipped it's got the BMW i controller here there you go the the sat nav you've got telephone let's just see that's menu media that's showing that any music will be coming from my iPhone it's just turned down at the, the minute and uh, let's see back option Actually, 
I know what I should have done. We're on red here, so we'll just uh, into menu, vehicle information, knock that silly stop start off, vehicle status, flat tire monitor, confirm tire pressures, service required. Front brake pads all green, all okay, vehicle check. And it's saying service, vehicle check in 9,000 miles. A lovely day in the UK today, I've got the air con on. Just turn it down, make sure that's working okay. Yep, that's blowing nice and cold. We'll go up the M6. He's going straight on, and he is. A uh, little blue shoe on a, an accelerator just came on there when I accelerated, and I, I didn't know what it was the other day, but it, basically it's the don't button. Um, you're uh, you're too heavy with your right foot, I think. Multifunction steering wheel. I do like this black trim though with the with the silver at the bottom. I, I think that's the first time I've seen it. Whether that's an extra or not, I don't know. But uh, it, this, this is very very well equipped. I'll show you how to use sat nav and pay your mobile and stream audio when we get back. This this car is making me uh, want to drive too fast. It's very very nice. No uh, wobbles on the steering wheel. Brakes in a straight line. No vibrations through the pedal. No. No, no noises, no knocks. It's, uh, it's a really, really lovely example. Let's see, we'll just switch the... There we go. Cruise control set at 70. And we're doing around about 1,650 revs. So, uh, barely more than tick over. Bit of fuel gauge on the left hand side. Then we've got the speedo. Then we've got the information panel in the, in the center at the bottom. Rev counter. And then uh, coolant temperature gauge. Oops. I'm in the middle lane here because people can fly out here and go straight across and it uh, it can be a bit disconcerting right we're through the worst of it so I'll bob back in the inner lane yeah you're not too interested in rules about undertaking and stuff like that but uh, So you've got your climate switches here, we've got heated seats, let's see, your electric dormers, which I, I shall just try, pop that over there, just make sure this test drive is not just to show customers, it's for us to make sure there's nothing wrong with the car, so they work.
all the windows work fine. You've seen the, uh, here we go. I know, I know I shouldn't do this, but there you go. That's the memory moving the steering wheel for the previous owner or previous driver. Number one, and that's, oops. No, that's that's number one. That's the that's the missus's position, I think. Goodness me, that's awful. Oyster leather with this uh, double stitch in here. Real nice contrasting stick interior, black carpet, black dash, and then the, the pale proper leather. Let's just have a look what else is in there while we're stopped. It looks like there was space for a phone, a Nokia 6210 or whatever it was at the time. sat nav nice stretch of road coming up for people who enjoy driving or steering more than driving So if you want to check out our, um, it's in the under about and then in the news section, we'll be getting the website changed shortly. But we have become, we, we get a lot of views on social media and there's only two of us that buy and sell cars. So, uh, and we, we don't want to get any busier really as far as selling goes. We don't want to take on any more staff. But we do get, um, at, at the moment, um, just short of half a million views on YouTube a month and um, probably two and a half, three thousand new viewers to the website just looking what we do. Um, what we're trying to do at the moment is help those people, that, they're obviously interested in, in motoring, uh, help them keep the cost down so um, we'll be trying to put vouchers on if we can get any for discounts and uh, and also the the best deals and the best people to deal with i've just i, I became an affiliate of compare the market to the meerkat people and um, just as a a test really I, I tested my home insurance my electricity uh, my, my fuel home fuel and my travel uh, insurance those are the only three i've done so far and all three of them were significantly cheaper, especially my home insurance, because um, I couldn't get my, I've got a lot of camera equipment, and my present company wouldn't insure them, wouldn't insure the amount, and I've also got a lot of computer equipment. They, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't take that risk on. Uh, unfortunately, I'd already taken out the policy years ago. And I can now get it cheaper, and with all those things covered, so um, it's, it's worthwhile getting a quote. And as I say, we, we do get a very, very small percentage or a, a, a couple of quid, I think, if somebody gets a, a quote, but you could save hundreds. So back to the car. Xenons, multi-spoke alloys, front and rear parking sensors, uh, rear privacy glass, electric boot release and also you can release it off the key and uh, it's just ever so nice the slight corrosion on the wheels and a, and a couple of scuffs I'm not sure at this moment whether we'll uh, leave them as they are and keep the price lower or 
have them refurbed. Unfortunately, to, to refurb, it's probably cost, end up costing us about 400 quid. Um, so we would have to put that on the price of the car. Some people aren't bothered about the wheels because they'll just go and scuff them straight away. So no point in having them done. Some people are, like them done. So uh, we're not just sure what we'll do at the moment. But I think that's possibly the only thing that lets the vehicle down. Just click on. Uh, let's see. We'll just go to Eco Pro there. Sport. As soon as you click it in Sport, revs go up. And the car takes off. Accelerator is more sensitive, and it holds it in gear longer. What time is it? Starbucks time. right hand side there you can change your uh, audio there you go Bluetooth FM back over there media click back across music collection see I'm assuming that means that it's got a hard drive CD DVD tone and Bluetooth or external devices CD, that's the menu, radio, telephone, navigation, office, connected drive, vehicle information, settings. And back to nav. Front central armrest, really, really nice. Very, very comfortable car. And this is basically just as it came in. Uh, we've given it a quick hoover, and uh, I think that's about it, really. And also another thing that we like to see, when, when people tell you why, if they come in and they buy virtually the same car, you, you kind of know that there's probably going to be something wrong with their old car. It's, it's kind of human nature, and that they're only, you know, if they're not spending much or if they're not upgrading they're not buying something that they've always wanted or for a purpose a different purpose whether it be a, a, a new child a dog or I don't know midlife crisis getting a sports car but this chap has bought a nearly new transit van off us with 1600 miles on and he's bought it to go fishing which tells you he's not short of money and you can pretty much guarantee that anything that's needed doing on this vehicle will have been done. It's, it's all good pointers, everything points to be a great car, it's, it's the right price um, and uh, hopefully will sell very quickly. Starbucks so I'll uh, I'll finish the drive here and uh, when I just get a moment I'll tell you how to uh, set the sat nav and stuff <laughs> 